Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. Now, do you ever feel like your home may actually be making you sick? Maybe it is. Here with tips on how to help us have healthy homes, we welcome home health expert Eileen Durfee to the show. Eileen, welcome. Well, thank you for having me. I'm excited to have you here because I have often thought that I feel, you know, a little sniffly, a little congested, or some tickles in my throat when I'm at home, and I ever wonder, are there things around my home that are contributing to this or what? And you say that maybe so. Absolutely. You know, indoor air, according to the EPA, is three to five times more toxic than outdoor air. And one in two homes have a moisture problem. Hmm. And what do you do more than anything? You breathe. Right. Yeah. So you're, Absolutely. You're, you're breathing and you're inhaling these things that can aggravate your immune system. And back when I was so sick years ago, they didn't make the connection. Well, now the government even says, hey, we've got sick building syndrome. Uh -huh. And you look at the list of the ailments that these things that are outgassing in our homes can cause. It's just about every disease known to man, even cancer. What? Yeah. So wait, you have personal experience with having sort of a home or an environment that wasn't healthy? Yeah. Um, you know, I was very sick before, you know, and I was a land developer, home builder, and, you know, I was around these building materials, and, and I finally made a connection to that. So then I started, you know, cleaning up my own home, and I saw a reduction in my symptoms. Wow. And so it's really important. I mean, you know, a lot of people are indoors this time of year. Oh, absolutely. But the number one thing that they can do, because not everybody can afford to, like, rip out all their carpeting, repaint the walls, yeah. or do all these things. So the government website says if you can have above average air ventilation in your home, that symptoms will drop as much as 80%. So even if you're not getting rid of all the stuff that's outgassing in your home, uh -huh. you can do air purifiers and increase your ventilation. And let's face it, we're not all at home all the time, are we? Right, no. We're, we're indoors, but we're at work, we're in our cars, and we can't control our environment. Right. So check into, there's new technology out there. You can get a little personal space air purifier. There's even one that increases oxygen 17%. And you'd be amazed at how much your body uh, can cope with these things if it has some extra oxygen. Because indoors, there's less oxygen to sure. breathe. So I've often wondered about these air purifiers, Eileen, because I think, okay, so how much purifying can it really do? Like the air's all around us and this little contraption over here is supposed to weigh. How is it really helping me? Well, there's new technologies. You know, we're all probably familiar with a negative ion generator where it produces negative ions. That's kind of what makes you feel good when you're at the beach, you know, because the waves crashing down mm -hmm. or the waterfall. It helps us because we, you know, it'll affect our mood. But there's a new technology where it does a blend of positive and negative, so it'll actually kill bacteria hmm. and smaller particles than a big, noisy HEPA air filter can uh -huh. purify. And so you can actually have a small personal space air purifier that you point, like if you keep it within 40 inches of your face, you're going to be inhaling negative ions, cleaner air, oxygen, mm -hmm. all these things make you feel better. I mean, look at all the people doing breath work and yoga. Oh, yes. And they're feeling better because they're getting more oxygen. Okay, so oxygen's the key, so we have to have the clean air. Okay, let's go back to pulling up carpets and flooring and painting and all that. That's something that we can do, because we know about we know about mildew and mold and stuff like that. We see those, we know that's right. not healthy. But p why pull up your carpets? Carpets are bad? They have formaldehyde in them, oh. most of them. And so that can really, you know, actually give even asthma symptoms to your, long, your toddler crawling on the carpet, you know, and oh, getting rashes. Yeah, yeah. It's like they go to the doctor and get medications and it could be a reaction to those chemicals. Hmm. Now, you can go hard surface or you can actually get some uh, shampoo and sealers so that you can lock it in so then it's safe which that's more affordable than oftentimes putting in either wool carpet that might be six dollars a square foot sure. or 
tile or sure. hard surfaces. Well, it's really good. These tips are really good in this information because it's a good place to start. So purifiers and carpets and all this information. Thank you so much, Eileen. Oh, well, I, wanna, I want I want the home me. to be healthy. So thank you very <laughs> much.